Water makes up a huge portion of the Scrap Mechanic Survival map. Traveling through it by swimming takes a long time and makes you hungry and thirsty. Using a boat is the preferred method, although it too has its pluses and minuses. I'm Mediocre Milton, and in this video I'm going to show you how I built my boat and why you should and shouldn't use it. If you do end up finding this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch, link in the description below. Let's get started. So if you've wandered around the map, you're going to notice there's a lot of water on this map. And what you're going to look for when you're want choosing what you want to build out of to travel across the water is buoyancy. So every block has weight, durability, friction, and buoyancy. And buoyancy is going to tell you how well a block floats. So after testing pretty much every kind of material to see which one worked best, what I ended up finding was, not surprisingly, the block with the highest buoyancy, which is wood 3 currently, it has 9 out of 10 buoyancy, is the best block to use. It also is the lightest in terms of weight for... The, the the higher level blocks so in that in terms of that it's also going to make it less likely to use as much fuel as the other blocks so that's the block we're going to choose the other ones that were candidates were bubble plastic but this one just isn't it just isn't as good it also weighs like way too less it also has some weird properties so i put it in the water and it was like bouncing all over the place it was kind of weird and i guess the other thing you might want to look for in the future would be friction so if a block block has lower friction it should travel across the water more efficiently but currently I don't know if you guys have noticed, the water really doesn't have any properties. So basically water, if you jump in it, the only thing it does is it has a little, the little breathing meter up at the top, which will show you that obviously you can't breathe underwater. But if you try to use any kind of vehicle to get across the water using anything other than a thruster, it will not work. So hopefully in the future, they're going to add a the ability to maybe use like paddle boats or something like that. Like maybe you think of the old time boats where they have like the large wheels on them so that you can use that, just power the wheel and it pushes you across the water. But right now, the only way to get across water, because it doesn't really have any water properties other than, like I said, going under it, you can't breathe, is using a thruster. So we're going to show the boat over here, and we'll get this thing up on a lift real quick, just so you guys can kind of see what I did with it. Now, it took me about an hour or two to build this boat, and what I recommend doing is you want to start out by just placing the, you want to obviously build it on the lift so that you can get it in and out of the water, and you want to just build a base. So first thing I tried was building a large rectangle. And it worked okay, but then it, the weight just needs to be distributed evenly. So I tried to build a large rectangle, and I put the thrusters. I put a thruster in the middle, and it just didn't work. It couldn't turn. I had the thruster on a bearing, and having it on the bearing, it just would not. It would not turn properly. It just. It was just not handling it. So it was suggested to use two thrusters, and then we ended up figuring out the best place to put them was on the back of the boat. So as you can see, we have the two thrusters on the back of the boat, but because the thrusters have weight to them. We ended up having to make the boat in this kind of shape. So it kind of actually looks like a boat, if you can see. And if we lower it down, I put the sides up on here. You don't, I'm not, you don't really necessarily have to do this, but it just kind of makes it look better. So if we go up on top, what you're going to see is we have the thruster on each side. Now I can add a gas, a gas container. I'll probably do that in the future if I start using the, the boat more. And then we have buttons here. So one button just turns on the lights, which you can probably not... You, barely see here so the lights are just to see underwater to find underwater stuff as you're traveling along and then we also have the two buttons there's one button on each thruster so the reason this is set up like this way is because turning the thrusters just does not work very well so what you end up doing is you use the left button here goes to this thruster the right button goes to this thruster and what you can say is you press both of them it makes you go straight press one on me this one makes me so pressing the right thruster makes me turn left pressing the left thruster makes me turn right and that's how we get around the water now, the positive of this is it's going to be a massive time saver. So one thing we're going to do is I'm going to get out of the boat and we're going to test it. We're going to see how long it takes to get from this from this area right here to the, the island over there. And then I'm going to swim back and just show you how much faster it is. So up on the clock right now, and actually one thing we're going to, we can double test this right now. So what you're going to see is we're going to put gas in here. We're going to show how much gas it takes. So right now we're at 20 gas in each one. So how much how much fuel whoops, how much fuel does it take to get across? And I recommend not jumping these all the way up because it's harder to control, as well as also it's going to use a lot of fuel. So we're gonna let the clock get to we'll let thirteen ten. At thirteen ten, we're gonna go. We're gonna see how long it takes to get across to this island, and we're going. So let's see how long it takes. We're gonna try to hit as straight a line as possible. Like I said, even though I've driven this thing fairly frequently, it's still it's still not the easiest to control. And this might not look like I'm traveling that fast, but really we're traveling pretty fast here. So we left at 1310, and we're going to see how long it takes to get over to this island. 
it's going to be about half the time now of course if i put the thrusters up higher it would definitely reduce the time it takes to get over here but at the same time it's going to burn a lot of fuel all right so if we stop it took about 35 seconds to get across here now let's let's check one thing real quick we're going to check how much fuel we used so we used three fuel we used a total of six gas going just across this little area here and this is really not that far to be completely honest so i can that, that this is the the only negative right now to using to using a boat is if because you have to use thrusters basically is you're gonna use a lot of gas now gas is obviously easier to get now since the 0 0.4.6 patch where they basically increase the amount of gas it takes uh, or amount of gas you get for the crude oil you get by like two to three x so it's easier to get it but you're still going to burn a lot of it and honestly i don't do a ton of water traveling right now because of this hopefully in the future they make the thrusters either more fuel efficient or give us a way to make them more fuel efficient or alternatively and honestly better would be can we have better can we have other ways of uh moving a boat such as putting a paddle on it like i said or maybe even something like where there's maybe like ro like oars on both sides that are just powered by controllers or something like that so that it can just push itself so we don't have to actually use a ton of fuel so we're going to jump in here at 16. We're going to see if it takes... It should take me about a minute to get across here. So yeah, like I said, the map has a lot of water on it. And there's actually quite a few islands. And some of the islands, building a bridge or getting cars over to will be quite painful at this point. But there, I know in this map, there's, a, there's one island that's not too far away that is a massive island. It's covered completely in cotton. And I was thinking about building over there. But then I was like, you know, for me to build over there, I'm going to have to build a huge bridge, which is going to just cost a ton of materials. And carrying the cars across using the lift and pick is just, it's not worth the effort. But if we could have something like where we could use boats to transport things across the water, that'd be amazing. Also, in the trailer for survival, they showed boats. So one would think they're going to have big plans for the water since it does make up a huge portion of the map. And yet we've already exceeded the time it took to drive across there, obviously, in the boat. And this is going to take well over a minute, honestly. We're at 50 seconds already, and we're only about like three quarters of the way there. But yeah, if you guys have other ideas or have any other boats you've uh, you've built or recommendations, feel free to share those down in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ideas on how to improve my builds, and I'm sure other people are as well. And that took about one minute and like eight seconds to swim across that entire channel, and it took half that time in the boat, and the boat was not even cranked at full speed. So definitely, if you're looking to get to, like in this case, getting this island, because it doesn't use that much gas... It's only about seven, was it three gas? Well, six gas going and probably six coming back. I'd probably use that to traverse back and forth between that island or if I had some other places where there are islands to go to because honestly, I can just jump in the water and get the little, bit I get, little amount of gas that's going to be used to go over there. But if I wanted to use this to explore around the whole map, the boat, there's no way that I would do that because it's just going to cost way too much gas. And even though, like I said, it's much easier to get gas right now, it's just not worth it. So once again, hopefully in the future... I'm sure they're going to do it. They're going to add properties to the to the water. Although at this point, land doesn't really have property, doesn't have friction. Friction doesn't really seem to apply to driving around on land either with tires, right? So tire everything has friction, but the land, but the the world right now currently feels like everything's made out of ice. Whereas you're just like traversing, and as you can see, the way I'm moving across this kind of looks like I'm just like walking across the water. So they definitely need to add some type of friction or traction properties to water and land. And then at that point, it'll definitely be worthwhile to make to make use of different builds. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And like I said, if I recommend if you're going to build a boat to definitely use wood three, it's light and it's also has great buoyancy. So it's going to it's going to use the least amount of gas and it's also going to float the best right now unless they add other blocks in the future. And hopefully they will add ways to build paddle boats or even rowboats or something like that. And definitely, honestly, one thing that would be amazing and I've tried this was building a I tried to build a car that could drive underwater and unfortunately even if you have the thing entirely sealed in so that there's no spaces in it it just doesn't work so I was I drove a car into the water and it did not it did not function as I thought it was going to basically what happened was the I just it started making me feel like I was drowning even though I was sitting inside of a glass bubble so anyway that's it. Hopefully you uh, found this video helpful. If you did so, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch. Link for that down in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.